Hi guys, welcome back to Team Tube Productions. My name is Tom. And my name is Paul. And we're back for some Walking Dead All Out War content. It's been a, we always say it's been a while with Walking Dead. We play it consistently, but recording it. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really looking forward I think, to it. I think what it is is we always go to record it, but we enjoy playing the, yeah. the warm up game. So to be we get the light boxes and the camera out, and then we start throwing dice, and we're like, oh, we're supposed to record that game. Yeah. But yeah, we're back. We're going to be using uh, a variety of new and old characters yeah. as we kind of get ready for the next kind of set of releases that yes. potentially on the horizon. Um, and while I get time to paint up all the new stuff. That, that too. So thank you for everybody who's given us ideas in our Facebook group for the crews they'd like to see. Yes. So without further ado, let's show them to you. Okay, so this is how things look for today's 300 point battle report. We've got a mix of old and new. I've gone for your standard Atlanta crew. So I've got uh, Rick, Atlanta camp leader. He's got his pistol and his hatchet. We've got Carl, I've gone with the trainee sharpshooter variant, just so I can give him a Beretta 82. And he's also got his lucky hat, which is standard after the whole Negan beatdown. The lucky got... hat has to be standard in every I think it's just part of the course now. Carl, uh, we've got Laurie, the Cynthiana survivor. She's uh, got a medical bag. She's going to be my literal support character, healing people. And then Andrea, we've just chucked all the points on uh, the prison sniper. Andrea, so she's got an Arctic Warfare sniper rifle. A sniper scope and a silencer, and I, I've realised there's there's no bandolier, so that can only end well. Um, but you all rolling out quite a lot of the new variants of characters here. Yeah, so I've dipped into um, the new releases for my leader Glenn. So I've gone for the faithful provider, um, which is the new Glenn. You can't get him with the Glenn on horseback, along with Maggie, who is sick of it all. Um, Hopefully see how these two work. Glenn and Maggie, as you know, when I've used them previously, they buff each other quite a bit. These two, not so much. Well, the reason you've put the Glenn and the Body Armour model to represent him is because you've equipped him with full yeah. riot gear. He's got the helmet, so, the baton, and the, the armour. Yeah, basically, so he gets a white dice for having three um, piece, pieces of riot gear um, for the baton. Maggie uh, is the only real shooting I've got in the crew. She has got an AR-15. And one other character of Paul from the New Wave is the new version of Sophia, Orphan in Denial. And she really works well when she's buffing Maggie and Glenn. As we all know, Sophia is my MVP with a keepsake and a grenade. Your grenade machine. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Um, I've then gone for keeping it sort of in the family. Um, Grandad, Herschel Green, uh, the prison advisor, with two bandages just to patch up any of my heavy hitters. He's got I, a very good buffing ability. The next guy, yeah. Um, yeah, he has got a good buffing ability, so when he um, spends bandages to heal somebody, he heals an extra point of damage for them. Um, but they're mainly probably going to be used on the next guy because I expect he's going to be a target. Tyrese. Which one? Blinded by rage. Because we loved him so much in the last bat rep that he has to meet up with him. He is raging and unstoppable, and he's armed with Tyrese's hammer, um, which adds a white dice to his melee attack rolls if he gets any headshots it adds another red dice um, and he's got a small knife as well just to get that dual wheel reroll ability so we're going to be playing a simple survival run game for five objectives whoever has the most at the end gets the win unless someone gets wiped off the table let's get to it yeah you've got Andrea that is definitely going to happen that's definitely going to happen Okay, and this is how things look as we set up for this battle, and you can see the harvest markers that we are going to be competing over for food for our crews. And there is one actually hidden behind the house on the left-hand side near my deployment as well. So, a lot of our characters are obscured by the terrain, but it's a beautiful looking board. Yes. Um, so Andrea and Rick are on the left-hand side behind that tree that is near the fence. You can see Laurie in between the two trees, and Carl right at the top for me. Hope it's kind of rush, get themselves in position for support and some shooty-shooty. How about you, mate? So I've got Glenn, who's my leader, down the bottom, accompanied by, at this point, his daughter, Sophia. Uh, I've got Tyrese holding the middle of the ground, and then I've got Maggie and Herschel uh, on the top end here. Yeah, the extra characters allowed you a bit of a spread on the battlefield, so I feel like I'm, I'm pent up in the corner waiting for a grenade to cause me sad times. Uh, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. So uh, Paul rolled first, so he'll have the first activation as we go into our first turn. So my first activation is going to be the big man Tyrese. Uh, so what he's going to do is because this is the Tyrese that just likes to kill things. I'm going to make noise, which will draw this walker in. So we've just measured this before we shot, um, and then I'm going to run past it, basically for my second action, which should bring in this one up 
here. I like the idea of him shouting abuse to one walker and then just breezing past it in a run. Yeah. Hey! Rick's up for me. He's going to make a very simple little sneaky sneak. Just this position here so that he can eventually draw the attention of that walker in combat and hopefully clear a path to that food marker. Aren't you just making all these and drawing in now? That's your plan? No, Paul, that would involve logic and I refuse to accept that. <laughs> just in case anything bad happens. So I'm going to activate Herschel and I am just going to run him up to here just to get him up in the mix of things. Carl, for me, is going to take a leaf out of his dad's book. He is going to sneak just behind this big pile of crates here. And take a leaf out of his dad's book and sleep with Andrea. Well, yeah, this is a really awkward crew. Paul raised this, so I've got <laughs> Rick's ex-girlfriend, Rick's... Rick's ex-wife. Ex-wife, yeah, and, and his kid. Mother yeah. of his child. Carl is incredibly conflicted during this. Which one's the real mommy? Yeah, um, yeah he's just going to stand mommy. He's going to stand there. So I'm going to activate Maggie now, and this is the new version of Maggie Green, which is sick of it all. So this comes in the Wave 5... Four or five, the most recent one. Um, so basically at the start of Maggie's activation, if she's more than 10 inches away from the group's leader, which she is, Glenn is over here off camera, I roll a black dice, and she can potentially get an extra activation on a shield. And I am famous for rolling these off camera, and I do get a shield, so she's got three activations this turn. But what she's also got is rock bottom, because unfortunately, if anyone's followed the comics... She's having a bad day. She's having a bad time. Um, hey two younger sisters had the heads cut off in the prison. I know Tom hasn't read the comics. You've got so a crew I'm... of people who've had bad days, oh, yeah, essentially. Well, this, this is the crew of bad day people, the Green family. The, the, the green, bad day people. The Green family suffer in the, in the comics. Would the you say they're people. made to suffer? Made to suffer. Oh. Anyway, roll your dice. Yeah. Um, so, a blue dice um, on whatever the result is, that is what a nerve value is. It doesn't make a difference at the moment because we're in all quiet, but she has a medium nerve on two dice. Um, she's okay at the start of the battle. She's not yeah, she's, biting her nails off yet. She's chilling. Um, she will get low once we go past me. Yeah, she will have a massive panic attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so Maggie's got three activations. She is armed with a gun, but I'm not going to shoot that just yet. Or I might do. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Um, I am going to... I've just realised I ran Herschel before and didn't move this walker. Into base contact with them. You can do that now. I'll that's do that now. That's just fine. You free up that, that supply token. I will free up that, that supply token. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run Maggie over in the general direction of Tyrese. So get it round to there-ish, which will again bring in this walker into combat. With her. You'll do your typical turn one where you cleverly break up all the combats and eliminate all the walkers on your side until it categorically goes wrong because you get screwed by an event in like turn three. Yep. TNG Productions. We're nothing if not predictable. <laughs> Laurie then, seeing her son kind of tempting this walker here, she's going to go and step in and do mom things because she is mom number... Mom A, shall we say, in this scenario. I mean, I mean she's mom. She's, she's mom. mom. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to look at Andrew and be like... I can I can out mom you. I mean, I'm not that not that Rick's like not living up to a type, but he did go from a brunette to a blonde. I know. I mean, so, there's comments to be made there. The blondes have more fun. It's it's always the question. Well, Andrea's got a sniper rifle, so she'll definitely be having more fun in this battle. <laughs> but that'll do, Flory. So this is new Super Glenn. Super Glenn. Super Glenn. Um, and he's pretty cool when you combo him up with Sophia. I like how you've put him in the right gear for this kind of thematic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the Glenn in the right gear is, like, really good. This is the new Glenn that comes in the Glenn on horseback set. Um, but I'm not putting him on horse because I haven't painted it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he's, he's really good. He actually doesn't have to spend action counters to uh, search. Yeah, he actually doesn't have to spend an action to search. He's just really he's, good at looking yeah, yeah. through stuff. He just searches a supply counter if it's not engaged which is pretty good, but this clan can actually hold his own now, whereas the other ones were like a little bit... Dodgy, dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy, especially with the riot gear combo that he's got on. So the baton gives him an extra white dice now. Go for it then, what's he going to do? So he is going to, obviously because it's me, make noise, which is going to shambly shamble that walker into this barricade, and then Glenn being the ninja, 
that he is, is going to run to this token here, which will obviously bring in that walker who's in base contact with it. There's going to be so much combat this time. <laughs> there is, and you will have to move Andrea to shoot him, so I'll take that. <laughs> Andrea very simply is just going to exert her threat. She's just going to move with a little sneak just round to this tree here so she can oversee things over on this half of the battlefield. And we'll go back to see what Sophia does next. So Sophia is in a little bit of a precarious situation um, because I think I might have just got her killed already. <laughs> but she'll be all right. I'm going to run it. So she was right next to Glenn, which means that she'll get to there and which will bring this walker into combat with her um, and that is me all activated right then so we will go to the event phase next and here we are as we go into the event phase then and you can see the walkers engage rick and the other one that's engaged laurie just behind the tree everybody apart from andrea and carl is uh, going to be engaging in combat so that's going to be very interesting uh, event card then paul okay let's see what we've got We've drawn, there's a storm coming. So we're in all quiet, nothing happens yet, but it is plus one to the threat tracker. So that moves us into position two because we start off position one. However, we're gonna have combat this turn, so I'll immediately bump it up to position three. So we're already at the very end of the all quiet area. So Paul's got initiative, so he will lead us through combat next. Okay, so threat level is in all quiet. Uh, we have split the combats up. Glenn's taking on one walker and Sophia's taking on one walker. So Glenn has white dice for his melee and a white dice for his riot baton because he's also armed with a riot helmet and riot gear. So I'm looking for a good roll here. Please be a headshot. Oh, oh he nails, he nails it. it. The walker just flails in retaliation, but no. Destroyed. Thank you very much. Can we do Sophia while we're there? We can do Sophia while we're on it. So Sophia, unfortunately, doesn't have any melee. Attack. So I am having to roll a red for her defence, um, but... Yeah, as he carefully reads his cards. No, it's okay. Go on then. No, no, no real benefits. So a red dice for Sophia, and I get a one. And the walker gets a... A one. one well. So it's a draw. So draw. you win the draw, as I knock the models everywhere, <laughs> so you can just split that there. That's just pushed away, and then shall we go over to... Let's see how Laurie and Rick are going to do. Okay, over to my two then. Laurie is going to face off this walker. She's got a mighty red die. She rolls uh, nothing. Come on, walker. Oh, oh, two and a bite. Oh, dear God, that is, that's not good. And uh, pushes her away. Good job she's got that medical bag. She's really going to need it. I think uh, she really is. Actually. Rick has got two for his... He's going to watch ex-wife die, I think, at this rate. Two, I mean, secretly he wants it. Secretly he's up for that. Two white, because he's got uh, white for melee and one for his hatchet. He gets three, and, and the, the walk walker gets zero, everything. so he is successful, and knocks that walker down prone. Uh, and we'll go to the massive brawl over in your end. Okay, so the first melee I'm going to do over here is going to be Maggie. Uh, she has one red dice for her melee, and she gets a mighty two and a headshot. Oh, the walker retaliates with one, so she murderises that walker. That is another dead walker. I'm happy with that. Maggie and Glenn. Comboing up. Uh, may as well, while we're over here, do Herschel, who also has a uh, red dice. Just slap melee. him with his man bag. And I get a one. And Ronnie Walker gets a one, so it is a draw. draw. So it's pushed back, and right. now. Angry Tyrese is so mad that he actually pushes the threat tracker up by one again, so we're on to uh, low oh, threat now. He is, yes. Um, because he's not outnumbered by more than one, I don't get an extra dice now. I love this Tyrese. I think yeah. we used him, in, used him in the last one, didn't we? He's amazing. amazing. Um, blinded by rage, but I do get three red dice for melee, um, and because I've got two dual wield weapons... Can re -roll them. I can re-roll them. Um, oh, I've got his hammer, so I also get a white dice as well. It's, he's probably killed this walker, is what you're basically saying. Um, that's the plan. Need just one headshot, really. There's no way you're going to beat all this. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I, I can't roll anything higher than that, so he bludgeons the living daylights. Uh, do you want to check for ammo on your hammer, just in case it's for an hour? You know? <laughs> I think I'll be okay. So that then takes us into the end phase. Yeah, so we'll do some tidying up. Yeah. And see how we get on. And this is how we're looking at the end of the first turn. And there was good and bad news for Rick there with my rolling. Uh, <laughs> the walk in front of him has not stood up. Good news. 
Unfortunately, the ex-wife behind him suffered a bite wound, so she's down to one HP. Uh, so he might have zombie Laurie chasing his son in a minute, which is never a good thing. I mean, Carl's just stood there and watched his mum just get bit. Like, Absolutely oh, yeah. munched. But he's going to watch Andrea snipe Tyrese in the face in a second, though, so I'm sure he'll get over <laughs> Laurie very quickly. Um, um, so it is my priority, priority, I think. So I will pop that over there. Thank you, good sir. Off to turn two. Okay, Andrea is going to start off the turn for me, and she's going to have a shot. Actually, Paul, I think you need to move that middle tree for us, please. Can you glamorous, glamorously uh, reveal my, my shooting target? I was going to say, I might have to move the house, but you've got a line of sight. No, I've got a line of sight, thank you. There we go. So here's Tyrese. Uh, Andrea's going to have I a mean, if, you, if I've got to remove the tree, <laughs> it's just, I just know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's not trying to talk your way out of it. It's not the base of the tree that's in the way. And I ignore the cover anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's got uh, a Arctic Warfare sniper rifle. <laughs> Just sounds nasty, doesn't it? I realised halfway through that I forgot to give her a bandolier, so this is going to be the best one shot I realized, ever. I realised when you said the list at the start. Yeah, of it wasn't good. <laughs> so she's got a. She got two blue dice. She got one for her normal shooting, another one for the sniper rifle. She gets uh, a white dice because she's going to aim to shoot. And because it's got deadly precision with her sniper scope, she automatically gets a headshot. So technically I also then get to add a red dice for each headshot I get. So I will roll the normal dice first, but I've got at least one red die afterwards. So, see if I can get this all on camera. That is that many, but I get my red die on top because of my instant headshots. Nothing there but the headshots. That is one, two, three, four, four, and then the fifth will be the headshot damage. Okay, so expert pew, shot pew, pew. is ignores the cover. Ignores but you're cover, right. so I wouldn't get anything. I've got a red and a white for defense. Was tiny a bit of tanky. He's quite good on defense actually. Like I was this. hoping a, a bit of a better roll from me there. At least one headshot would have been good. Oh, oh three. So after all that. One damage. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Mine would be five with the headshot. Five with the headshot, so two damage. That's pathetic. Uh, and because I've, you've automatically got a headshot, I don't need to do another one. Well, I need to double check to see if it makes noise first. So it's gonna, uh, it'll make noise rather than mayhem. So that's the first thing. So it will actually attract the attention of a walker just here, who will actually shamble. I'm gonna presume it knocks over the cone comfortably, rather than being stuck on it. Yeah. Um, and we are saying this is passable terrain, so it will actually just walk basically into it there. And then, yeah, we'll see if she runs out of ammo. That'd be the perfect ending to this. So I need a shield here. Oh. That sniper rifle, then. That, like, 100 points. I mean, there's a joke in blowing the load, but I'm not going to go there. <sighs> so, that was a turn for the box, wasn't it? That was brilliant. Uh, she's got a really pricey stick to swing around now. <laughs> it's essentially how, many, how many points did you invest in the attachments on that gun? Shut up. It's 40 up points. Shut up. Jesus. What are you no, going to do? It's over 60 points. What are you going to do? It's I'm going to do whatever I like. Yeah, you do. You, you. Yeah, like, I, I, think, I think the start of every video now should be that sigh Tom gave at the end of the... <laughs> do you know what, Paul? Or be okay, because I still have Carl with his lucky ass. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's terrified, he's just sort of mum getting munched. I know, and he's like, Deputy Mum, can't shoot. Okay, um, so... I basically tickled Tyrese there. Yeah. I mean, Tyrese has just stood there, kind of like, do you guys feel that? <laughs> like, I'm sure, I'm sure I've just heard the explosion of an Arctic Warfare sniper rifle. Well, no, it's more of a... <laughs> with the, oh, with the, the sound. Yeah. Anyway, who are you going with? Um, I'm going to go with Tyrese, because... Why not? You've just basically tickled him, <laughs> and he's got a really big pack, so I'm just going to sneak him. I'm going to search, and I'm going to draw. This will be a lurking now for all yeah, the exactly. value. Oh, a tie Ryan. Yay. I'm just going to pop that in his pack, because I might give that to somebody to <laughs> stole Andrea's head in with later. Um, yeah, that's me though. So that token can go. That token can indeed go. Alright, Laurie is up next. She's going to have to use her medical bag to try and heal her wounds. She rolls a white dice and successfully gets 2 HP back. That is not too bad at all. Um, she's then going to... Uh, she's going to sprint to this position here just to pull this walker in. Just to protect her son before she dies. Okay, so simple activation for me. Tyrese is... Really injured, I'm really, really worried about him. 
So I'm just going to sneak Herschel to here. Just basically so Tyrese is within his kill zone. And I'm going to use his patch up special rule. I'm going to use one of the bandages that's equipped to Herschel. Discard this card as an action to restore one health point lost in the game earlier. But because Herschel's got patch up, he can do that to somebody else. And heal an extra wound. So Tyrese is... He's but just flicked the bullet out of his yeah, yeah, it's just like, shoulder. And do his favour Herschel. Just uh, goes on them plasters and good to go. He's kissed his knee. Yeah, yes. basically, yeah. Kissed his boo-boo. <sighs> Those sighs are gonna I, I want them as my ringtone. Whatever you call. Sure. <sighs> right, I've just nudged the tree out of the way because the camera really wanted to focus on it for a second there. Carl is gonna sprint just to this position here, which will draw the attention of this walker and bash his ankles into the table as he deserves. He's gonna search this marker and he's gonna find a mighty ammo refill. Yay! He can oh, just no. sling that over to Andrew if she ever gets <laughs> to the same side of the battlefield as him. So Carl has suddenly just become a target. <laughs> Carl's now got a target priority oh, on his head. Most definitely. Um, so Carl has suddenly just become target priority. So I was gonna wait. Public right, enemy number yeah, one. I was gonna wait for the right <laughs> moment to fire this gun, but right now is the right moment with that ammo reload. So I'm going to sneak Maggie to there. So she is. She's gonna snuggled prop, nicely. Prop the rifle on between, the shoulder of those guys. In between Tyrese and in between Herschel. And I am going to unload on Carl. So I've got a white dice basic for shoot value, and I've got a white dice for the AR-15 that I armed her with. Oh dear. Um, the AR-15 has armor piercing, which, if I'm not mistaken, ignores a dice off my defense roll. Ignores a dice off your defense roll. Um, multiple shots two, which basically means I get to reroll. Uh, I get to roll these, this shot twice, and is rifle. But because of snook, I can't use the aim action. So, so I've got no defence against this. You've got no defence against it, and I've got two rounds of shooting into it. Yeah. What's your health on okay, Carl? All of it. Shut all up. It. Four. Four. Um, okay. So, two. Have you checked all of her panic and all of this stuff, you big cheese? Oh, I haven't right? checked the panic, actually, have I? So, rebellious, she's less than... Oh, that means she would get an extra uh, action. Uh, there you go. I thought I'd help you out there on camera. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Is she actually ten inches away from Glenn? No, she's no. within 10 inches of Glenn, so I don't get an extra action. Um, her name value... She's, she's, she's super. Safe. She wants to kill that child. <laughs> she's safe. She's very high at the moment. Um, so first shot then. First shot. Well, first shot got two. Okay. Now go for it. So two. And the second shot gets three. So, so that would... Five damage in total. Kill him. Um, but he has his lucky hat. He does have his lucky so hat. So on a shield, it's a screw you. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn it, Carl! <laughs> TG Productions, always take Carl Grimes, always give him a hat. <laughs> but luckily uh, for me, no headshots. Mayhem, but though. mayhem was caused. I so. love if this gets her killed. So the threat tracker does go up. Yep, so that puts us up to five. This is going to be every walker on the board, mate, I apart mean, from this one over yeah, here. So that one over there will shamble into there. Ronnie Walker will go into Herschel. Ronnie Walker will go into Herschel. This one will, I think, bash into the tree. Ronnie Rotten. There's a walker over the tree here that's fine, and the ones that are engaged here. Ronnie Rotten goes into Tyrese, so after that... I'm, I'm, I'm Carl laughs. Yeah. Like an anime character who catches the bullet in his teeth. His last one. It hurts him, but he's okay. God damn it, Carl. You can't go a battle report without that. Okay. Over to Rickolas then. He's going to make a move just to about here. And he's going to try and blast the small child in the face. What? So he's got uh, two blue dice for his shooting. Uh, armor piercing as well. So, so uh, no defense. In revenge. In revenge. That is. That is. He's terrible. an angry, angry man. So two blue dice. See how it does. That's four points of damage and there. that will kill poor little Sophia. Yeah, screw you and your grenade, small child. Um, I mean, that is evil. It does cause mayhem, so it will push the threat tracker up, uh, which puts us up to six. However, the only walkers it's going to interest are one just to the left-hand side here and this one here. So this one can easily get to him and we'll knock over a cone. I like this thematic thing of knocking over cones. And there's a little police officer one that will bash into the wall just there. How does I mean, that feel, Glenn? How does that feel? 
<laughs> you shoot a nice small child. That that's harsh. I mean, I've just Glenn has just watched his daughter just be blasted away. Hasn't she got like just a kid or anything? She, I've uh, made a roll. This one, no, no. Um, <sighs> she's got. Sucks to be you, Sophia. See, she's she's a buff buffet. A buffer, a buffer as opposed to a buffy. Yeah, yeah. So she's this one. This one was a support character, so she kind of buffs Glenn and Maggie. She's a dead character. Um, she's definitely dead now. <laughs> but that just gets rid of one of the combos, two of the combos that I have planned. So Glenn can reduce the threat tracker when at the start of his activation when he so he is in his melee zone so that is just I pretend to feel bad but I was due a good shoot roll to be honest yeah, in all fairness but anyway Glenn's still got some um, funky stuff he can do so he doesn't need an action to search so dibs he just has that he just has that what does he gain he's got a metal pipe score I'll take that um, can you use that with his please battle um, <coughs> no it's not do a wheel unfortunately uh, sometimes I know, so but now we can still out normally. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sneak into this walker here. May as well. Lovely. Um, all of mine have gone. Um, all of yours have all gone. All of mine have gone as well. Yeah. Let's go on to it then. Right then, so we didn't even have to do anything for the kill zones for this one because everyone pretty much is tied up in combat. Who <laughs> yeah, can be? Every every walker on the field's engaged as well. Pretty isn't much. It? The trigger. So onto the event phase, Paul. What have we got? We have got. Frayed nerves. So, all quiet and low threat level, which we are still in. One model with low nerve chosen by the player with initiative creates noise. If there are no eligible models, add one to the threat level. I don't believe there are any. Eligible. No, Maggie's high nerve for this turn, yep. so everything's fine. So we're plus one for that. You killed Sophia, so that bumps us up to seven. We have got uh, combat this turn, so that'll pop us up to eight. Pops and because Tyrese is angry and in a fight, it pops us up to nine. So we are now into medium threat. Yeah, so we'll leave that for now. Rocketing up. Yeah. Um, so we'll go to the combat first. We'll start with my characters and then go over to Paul's. Over to my melee then, and we're going to start with Rick, who has got two white dice, and thanks to his hatchet, he rolls two successes there. Okay, and the walker rolls one. So Rick is successful and knocks that walker down. On to Andrea, she's got one white dice for her melee. She rolls a one. Walker rolls <coughs> one. So, draw. Laurie, unfortunately, only the one red dice. Gets a one, I'm consistent with those ones. So am I. <laughs> And a draw there. Pretty safe and easy. Okay, so pretty straightforward for me. We'll go right the way along the screen. So I've got Glenn first of all. He's got one white dice basic and then one for his uh, riot baton. And three. Come on, Walker, you can draw it. No, it can't. That's uh, knockdown prone. Knockdown prone, so we'll just pop that Walker there. Get those out the way. Tyrese well the Beast. Do, yeah, may, may as well do Tyrese the Beast. Uh, three red dice and a white dice for his um, hammer. And, and he's re rolling because he's an angry man. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's definitely there. Poor Johnny Rotten. I think we should call him Ronnie Rotten. No, we've got Ronnie Zombie. Oh, we've got Ronnie Zombie. Oh, Zombie yeah. I mean, Ronnie Walker. Ronnie Walker. Anyway, Herschel <laughs> against Ronnie Walker. Uh, Hazel's just, just got a red for his Just man bag. Oops. That's one. The walker gets nothing. So, again, knockdown and pro. Pretty decent combat in that turn. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so, we'll go to the end phase and then you'll have priority next turn. Whoop, whoop. And this is how things look in the end phase of the second turn. And we only had one walker stand back up. But unfortunately, poor Laurie, she has sustained another bite wound. So good job she healed herself. So she is down to uh, 2 HP, which is not the best. With Paul taking the initiative next turn. We'll see if Carl can survive having his face blasted off again uh, as we go into turn three. How do you know that's going to happen? I mean, come on. It's, it's child retaliation at this stage. Okay. So that was an interesting end to the last turn. Not a lot happened. <laughs> Um, Tyrese does what Tyrese does and kills walkers. Um, Maggie, let's see how she does. Yeah, so, we all know what's coming. Yeah. So she's still within 10 inches of Glenn, um, so she won't get um, her extra action, so there's no point rolling it. Well, let's see if she's low nerve, because that'll be see funny. see how she feels. So, come on, anything but a one. Can I get a one? Oh, she so, needs to roll a panic dice. She does need to roll a panic dice. So scream, let's see scream. Where she is. <laughs> Run away. Oh, oh, she's gone berserk. Is that on camera? But yeah, she's got a berserk. Oh, she got, yeah, that, yes. that is on camera. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's got berserk. She's got, so she has plus one to the threat. Arguably the best one. 
immediately. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, we add, don't normally add red to her melee attack plus one threat. Right. So she could behave normally, she's just a bit better at melee. Yeah, and but she's, she's gonna be shooting anyway. So. Yeah, so that's cool. I'll take that. Um, she's definitely not getting into combat. She's gonna shoot Carl. Of course she is. So um, two shots again. I have no defense because mm. you've got armor piercing. I do I'm indeed. On one health, so roll anything. So three and headshots, which goes up to four. Um, <laughs> the thing is, it's it's. I've mean, already got my black and white yeah, dice in my hand. I don't care what you roll. The black and white dice goes over, so it's it's a lot of damage. Oh, that's basically, so much damage, Paul. But don't worry, because Carl has his hats. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence is what makes it. Oh my days! On the upside, you've created mayhem, though. So enjoy that. So that. So the threat tracker goes up by one again. Yes. Which I think I think by our reckoning we're on about eleven. We're on eleven. Uh, and that is going to be. Rednet Walker here, not quite this Walker down yeah, here. Yeah, so that will shamble into here, sure. This Walker here will shuffle around to about the building. I'm not sure if that's in camera. Uh, no one else apart from the Walker by the car will shuffle. Yeah, oh yeah, shuffle. I've already moved that one along. But that's about it. Um, I mean, that oh, car's lucky hat. That should it be at the end of each shot. No, yeah, not. strongest character um, in the game. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, I mean, that's the only action that she's taken, so I may as well just walk her since she's ballistic. Yeah, to go and cave this, this walker's this walk yeah. head in. Um, so that kind of sorts that out. Uh, Lols. God damn it, Carl. I feel like I need to send Tyrese now to just... just cave his face in. Yeah, basically. Um, over to you. Carl's just gone full Red Dead Redemption basically here that he's just standing no messing in a shootout. Uh, <laughs> Laurie's going to do the, the thing a good mother will do and she's just going to sacrifice her life to engage this walker. I mean, that's that's the story of it. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a heroic way for her to end. It's completely her comic book story. So one thing I did forget to do at the end of Laurie's activation was she did get a, sorry, at the end of Maggie's activation is she did get a headshot. We've just rolled for the ammo check off camera. And it failed. Yeah. I like how your your demeanour has just Paul's, radically changed in this. I hate Carl's, I hate Carl's lucky hat. Um, anyway, Tyrese is going to... I'm going to send Tyrese to stop his skull in. Come at uh, me. Well, he survived Negan's Negan. bat, so he can deal with Tyrese's hammer. He did survive Negan's bat, didn't he? In fact, I'm not. I'm going to run Tyrese round to here, and I'm going to search that token, because I'm going to play the objective game. Yeah, you do that. You play those objectives. I'm going to make you come for me. Phrasing, but yeah. I'm not going to say it. My favourite part of that activation is my joke threw Paul off so much he forgot to actually draw his card. You've got football pads. I did, yeah, to make Tyrese Because Tyrese even needs more, more armour. Uh, Andrea, very simply, is going to sneak to this position here and see what is going up in this. She draws an ammo reload. God, oh, no, seriously. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a big turn next turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> So, Andrew's got a ammo reload. That's not good. It's a downward spiral here. I mean, I feel the victory. It's slipping away. away. Uh, yeah, okay. So, Glenn. I feel like I want to cower and hide. Because now <laughs> in his body armor. Just, just, just crawls in the feet. She's about position. to be like near enough in the center of the table. So yeah, she's, she's, she's going to be a turret. A turret. Bit. Um, Okay, I am going to just move Glenn into this walker. <laughs> um, Shield me, walker! Yeah, and just, just basically thump her. Um, I mean, I could try and ramp the threat tracker up as quick as I can. Don't worry, I'll be doing that for both of us in a second. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, over to you. Right, Carl's, Carl's had enough of this. He's had enough of all this. He's going to stand behind this little planter here because he's a boss like that, and he's going to fire a shot at Tyrese's face with his Beretta 82. So it's a handgun, it is reliable, he's got two white dice on his shooting, so he's going to go with... Oh, wow, that's pathetic. Two. One. One point of damage to Tyrese. Enjoy that. Uh, it, I'll take that. It causes mayhem, which isn't really going to happen affect much on screen, but it will pull some walkers... So the threat tracker has moved. Around, threat tracker does go up by 12 one. 12 or 13, possibly. So a few of our walkers have moved around the house off camera, but 
Nothing else. Yeah, nothing really. Everyone else was engaged. Rick's go. Right, like father, like son. Rick is going to make his way through the gate here and just to that position. And he's also going to have a pop at shooting Tyrese. So he has got two blue dice for his shooting. Two blue dice. Uh, armor piercing handgun. So we'll ignore one of your defense dice. I'll drop the red. Uh, so we get three successes there. Ooh, I'm going to take damage here. We got space here, mate. One away, so that is two points of damage to you. Uh, it does cause mayhem, which bumps the threat up to, we think we're on 13. 13 now, yeah. uh, this walker will then draw attention and come back round to engage Rick. There's a walker here that will probably basically just go straight into Andrea in that position there. And I think that will take us over to the event phase. It will indeed. Okay, this is how things look at the end of the third turn then, Paul. We've got a hell of a lot of combat once again. So we're on to the event phase. What have we got? We have got Pandemonium. Plus one to the threat tracker. That takes us into high threat. Oh, oh dear. Um, each player doesn't make a difference. So we, oh, we are in high threat now. Yes. So not in medium threat. So... Um, players move all eligible walkers in a direction of their choice and then two blue dice worth of walkers enter play. I don't think we've got any eligible ones left because they're all in combat. No, so do you want to quickly roll the two blue before we've got yeah. space in the middle there? Yeah? <laughs> five walkers enter five, play. Five walkers enter play. So right. we'll, we'll go do that camera. and we'll cut back in a second. And I've zoomed out ever so slightly just so you can see what we've done. Paul has stacked the deck at the bottom. I've put one on either side to kind of flank Tyrese, who basically I've got to go for this next turn uh, to try and bring a draw to the results. Um, so we have got combat. So that's plus one to the threat tracker again, Paul. Yep, so that puts us into position 16. 16. Uh, 15, sorry. Tyrese has not got himself in combat, so he doesn't add one. Um, but Paul has got the initiative, so should we do your combats first? Uh, yes, I have two. And have we'll work our way well. to, I think I've got three. Laurie's basically a guaranteed dead behind that house. Oh, yeah. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, so, as I always start every turn whenever we start recording with, okay. I've noticed this, recording habits. So it's something you don't actually realise when you're recording and then until I edit it and I'm like, yeah, okay, so then, okay, yeah, uh. That's so it. let's just draw your attention to it so you notice it in every video yes, yes. ever. Um, I now want to say okay. <laughs> so let's roll some dice. No, that no I'll, just, I'll just stick with that. okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Glenn, um, one white dice for his melee normal, one for the uh, riot baton. Uh, you've got some rolling space here, buddy. That's it. Killing that warfare all day. Yeah, it's dead. Finally. Massively dead souls. Only took six combats. Um, there or thereabouts. Uh, may as well go over to Hitishal Maggie. Maggie's got the extra red dice, remember, because she's berserking. She has, so she is up to uh, two red dice. Hitishal's up to one. I'll roll them all together. This doesn't make a difference. Um, <laughs> they can mine for two. Ah, oh, one. So, bump and knock down. Yep. Uh, Tyrese isn't in combat, so you have got... I've got my three, three that I need to do. There, so we'll switch over to them. Right, over to my side then. Rick is going to use his hatchet and try and cleave the face off this walker. He gets three, that is, just under the tree. There you go. So he will knock it away and knock it down. Uh, Andrea has got one white dice. She's going to go with a one for her success. Come on, walker. That nothing. is nothing, so she will knock this fellow down. Poor Laurie, though. One red. Gets a one. Nothing. And a thing successfully knocks that one down. Um, I'll tell you what, while we're on camera, we'll do Laurie's bite. She's fine. She's okay at the moment. She gets a shield. So kind of lucky Laurie stays alive a little bit longer. Anyway, so we'll go to the end phase and see which walkers stand up and move on. And this is how things are looking at the end of the turn. And a hell of a lot of the walkers actually stood back up, Paul. So we've, uh, we've got some more obstacles and stuff to deal with as we go into what will probably be the final turn. Yeah, we did get a lot of walkers stand up then, which was uh, unusual. There's going to be a few panic rolls here as well. We've only really got two characters, I think, on each side that are high nerve. Yeah, I've got uh, Tyrese and Glenn and Maggie's special, so it could go She could them. be. Uh, I've got Andrew and Rick, so Carl and Laurie I have to be careful with. Uh, as we saw, Laurie survived her bite wound for now, so she's just floating still on low health, and I've got activation priority for this turn, so let's see how we get on. Rick's up first then for me, he's gonna sneak just to this position here, 
uh, just around the corner, and he is going to attempt to shoot his gun in Tyrese's face. So Ooh. I've got two blue dice with armor piercing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's four successful hits there, Paul. So I've got a white dice. So luckily I will survive this, but, <laughs> but it's not looking great. Yeah. Um, oh, roll it on yeah, camera. Anywhere around help. here is fine, mate, by the tree. One, oh. Three points of damage. Takes me down to one hit point. Oh, left. he's a lucky fellow there. Um, it does cause mayhem, though, which will push the threat tracker up by one. And which is actually just screwed you. So this was... walker is going to bump into the ceiling there, into the ceiling, into the house. This one's going to go into him there. That one over there. This one here. This walker will go into lorry. This walker will go into the tree. And I think these guys are out of range just over there. So it's basically caused a massive ruckus by Rickus. See what I did there. I see, I see indeed. <laughs> so in the nature of protecting my interests. Protecting your investments. Yes, I'm going to run Tyrese to here. Snug him just behind that. So. Absolute coward. So I'll get a white uh, defense dice for <coughs> for wherever car comes because he can only run towards me, um, and I will draw it in that walker because of run, which isn't a problem for Tyrese because we're in high threat and I'm rolling all the dice that I own. Um, there was a temptation to duck him down, but that's <laughs> not going to happen because the walker's there. Um, Okay, Andrea, then we've had to move the tree out of the way. Andrea is going to have a Hail Mary. There is a line between here and here. I mean, I'm not convinced. There definitely I'm is. I'm, not, I'm still not convinced. Uh, we need a laser pointer. We need to borrow one of those laser line yeah. things. Anyway, she's going to spend her ammo reload to reload. She's going to shoot her sniper rifle. It's going to come down to a 50-50 anyway, whether it hits you or the walker. Yeah. Um, so she's going to have a shot at Tyrese. Okay, and because I'm behind that barricade... I'll ignore the barricade anyway, because of her expert shot ability. She That's can just one dice, force you to discard a cover dice of your choosing. A cover oh, dice. A defense dice, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to roll a 50-50 now to see who it hits. So shield to hit Tyrese. Oh, it hits the walker! Let's just wipe the walker off the face of the earth then. Three... Whatever its defense is, I mean, one roll. I think it's a white defense for being behind the barricade. You ignore the cover of that. Oh, yeah, sorry, so it's a white dice, yeah. Yeah, just knocks it down, basically. That's fine, so you've just basically. Pathetic. Well, uh, that... It makes noise, which will pull in this walker to Andrea. Well. Uh... I mean, at this point, unless Carl can kill me, that game, because it... Tyrese is technically still in combat, we'll go straight up to the end of the threat tracker. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> With the with Taddy's clinging on for dear life, <laughs> I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with Glenn and get him out of dodge. I'm gonna run him around here, basically. So we we'll get him to there, get him to roughly around where Tyrese is, just to give Carl potentially a, another tasty target. Um, no, it's gotta be Tyrese. It's gonna be one Tyrese. HP. <laughs> right, Carl. This is down to you. Don't panic, please. Oh, he screams! screams. <laughs> oh, Christ. He makes noise, which will draw this walker into him and effectively end my carefully planned shooting turn. I just cry, cry. I'm so sad. Just... I mean, the walker might still bite me. No, the walker might still, it. like, nibble your ankle, maybe. Uh, to be that. honest, it's a... It's a uh... It's an empty victory. It really is. Um, I've got moral one, victory, would you say, Paul? Not a moral victory. I've, I've, I've battered, yeah. But, <laughs> so harsh. Um, Who've it's, got it's made me realise a lot of stuff about this game, like in general, which we'll talk about in the post-match. Um, I'm going to turn that round because everybody's been looking at the... The dots. The dots, the, uh, the, the markings. So, it's a good tip for those who have this, the case, though. Put numbers of, like, rows and, like, columns that they're in. Yeah. Really useful way of remembering. Uh, Maggie, I'm going to activate her. I'm going to see how she feels like behaving. Uh, medium, so she needs to take a, a panic, panic die. check. She goes, the threat goes again. up again by one. The threat goes up again by one. Why couldn't Carl do that? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, threat goes up again by one. Maggie has two actions. Uh, she's still within 10 inches of Glenn, so they'll need to roll for it. 
she hasn't got a weapon no. <laughs> anything really to do she'll um, just stand there I think at this yeah, stage she's just going to stand there and while we're here I may as well do Herschel's activation again he also is a medium threat so he runs w- away wants to leg it towards the nearest so, board edge I think it is nearest board edge past a warfare isn't it uh, yeah, flee, run eight inch in a straight line directly away from the nearest enemy, take no further actions. Uh, so, suppose the nearest, the nearest enemy ones. would be them, um, directly in a straight line, I bump straight into that, so I'm assuming I'm in contact with her, I just run round it. Yeah. So, I then. Tyrese! Just Tyrese! Off screen. Sadly, I've just gone off screen, but I am probably dead or there about to be Literally Tyrese. next to Tyrese. Yeah. Right, so we'll go to the event phase to round off this final turn. Okay, this is how things look as we enter the event phase then, Paul. So we've got Rick has been uh, ganged up on by some walkers. My poor shooting has really messed things up here. I think we've got a lot of issues. I could potentially get uh, bitten to shreds here. Laurie's very close to dying. So what event card have we got then, Nick? We have got Roma's. So we are in high threat. Each player rolls two blue dice and moves that many eligible walkers in a direction of their choice. And then blue walkers enter play. So we'll, we'll do roll for you while you're here. Yeah, go for you, roll for me, mate. So roll for you, you get three. three. It's only these ones in the foreground that we can really do anything yeah. with. And I get four. Four. And then you want to roll how many will enter play? Two. So we'll do that and cut in a sec. And as we cut back, you can see we haven't really been able to swing things too much here. I think Tyrese has managed to avoid the worst of it. Yeah, I think he'd be okay anyway, based on the his horrendous character. tank ability. Uh, yeah, that one up the top there, next to Lottie, just behind the house, not sure if you can see it, and then we just move these three up here. Um, I think, with obviously, we're going into the literally the end of the threat tracker once melee starts, and I think that's that's as good as game. Yeah, I think we can wrap it up there, can't we, mate? Yeah. So, I'll do a, a long-range handshake on camera there, well done, um, and we'll go to the, the post-match. And we're back, and that was a, a tactical, well fought victory, so congratulations to you. Always the way, <laughs> always the way, constant strategist. Um, Top tip, take a bandolier. If you're taking take that much, if you're spending that many points on a rifle, take some ammo. Yeah, you know what, we, uh, the, the, the board itself looked gorgeous. I don't think we commented on that, how, how nice it was, Jordan. Jordan, like the play, when we were looking at it, it looked really We spent good. a good hour sorting the board out, yeah, and then we yeah. spent five minutes picking our crews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the, the board, like, really, in, in this game, especially with the, the way the line of sight rules work and the, the cover and stuff like that, I think you need a lot. You need a lot of It's terrain. very similar to the Batman game where you do need a lot of terrain yeah. as well. It needs to be very heavy. But that's that's sort of the, the, the setting of the game yeah. as well, the real-world environment. Um, You've got barricades and stuff littered here. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's stuff all over the place. And although, like, you know, we had a couple of crash cars in and stuff that may not be um, normally seen, such as, like, a medieval table used as dining chairs we used full mantic stuff this time though yeah, we used yeah, the dungeon yeah. crate stuff we did we did yeah but um i think tyrese clearly the mvp tanked the shots it's near the end and that first it's andrea right. shot not doing a lot of damage that hit yeah that that stunned yeah. but i think i mean i didn't my, my strategy completely fell apart when you kill off sophia, yeah. sophia. i was yeah. going to be more aggressive with glenn because sophia gives him an extra white dice that was in the a defense. fine shot to take her was it Rick? i think he did Rick, it was yeah, an awesome it shot. one shot that, uh, that hit that i didn't even get to throw my grenade my mvp that's the whole point when you see paul put sophia down you kill her before she can throw a grenade <laughs> um you're the only person to do it so far, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> However, on the upside, we've uh, while we were making boards, we were looking at all the terrain that we had left over from you know our conflict event earlier on in the year, and there's that big prison tower. Oh, yes. And the, the map yeah. that goes with it, and the walls, and we're like... We have a ton of walking dead conflict... Uh, walking dead conflict... Terrain. Con- content? Content. There we That's go. the word. Planned especially for next year. Yeah. Um, but I think we really lined up the idea of doing the prisoners versus the riot armour. Cruise yeah. next, I think that that'll be a really interesting one. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of crews to come. And sure. whether it'll be out before or after this video, we are also going to be recording Here's Negan now. Yes. So we're going to get on that and show you that as an introductory video as well. If you haven't watched the video I did with Ronnie from Mantic, where he talks us through how Here's Negan works and where it fits in and the future for Walking Dead, I'll link it at the end of this video. But do check that out as well. Yes, definitely. So thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye, Bye. guys.